This is a news update for Info Live TV, August 21st. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Hamas threatens to retaliate harshly after six of its operatives were killed in an Air Force strike near the El Boej refugee camp early Monday evening. The IDF targeted the car shortly after two Qassam rockets were fired at Israel. The minimalist budget allocated for Israel's future defense needs does not match the strategic reality of the region, Defense Minister Hud Barak told reporters Monday. Barak said the IDF must carry out a plan for building its forces in a manner that will allow Israel to implement its basic security approach of deterrence. Six Israeli medical personnel set out for Peru Monday night in order to help victims of the earthquake that shook the country last week, leaving over 500 dead and thousands homeless. The delegation comprised of three doctors and three nurses will meet with representatives of the Peruvian Jewish community before traveling to one of the hardest hit cities. An auction house in England plans to sell Nazi board games this week that German children played during World War II, winning points by destroying British cities and ships. The Malak's auction house will also sell other artifacts, including statements from Holocaust victims. As a result of government cuts to research and development, more than 25,000 Israeli high-tech workers have moved to the United States during the last seven years, Shraga Brosh, president of the Manufacturers Association of Israel, said. Former Maccabi Tel Aviv basketball star Tal Brody is expected to run for the Knesset on behalf of Likud. According to media reports, Likud chairman Benjamin Netanyahu recently asked Brody to join the party. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, Knesset members sum up the second session. And Professor David Feynman, Solar Power versus Growing Oil Costs. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.